We are back on the Morning Brew with Friends, and this is so much fun. We're with Demacio Page here, MMA fighter and trainer here in Albuquerque. And everybody's asking you one big question. And that question is, Oh, you <laughs> will, will she win? Will she not win? What do you, what's your prediction for the big fight this weekend? You know, it's a, it's a big opportunity for Holly, you know, to showcase her striking skills again, you know, yeah. uh, especially in MMA. There's never been a uh, MMA world champion and a boxing world champion. Right. She'll be the first. Right. If she, if she could pull this through, you know, um, I think it's going to be a great fight. I think uh, Ronda's going to want to stand with her a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I think about a minute and a half, two minutes into the fight, she's going to get a little desperate. She's not going to want to strike with her no more. She's going to try to take her down. Right. As long as Holly defends the, the takedowns early on, yeah. and gets it later in the fight, I say past the second to third round, mm -hmm. I think Holly could uh, knock her out just because no one knows what uh, Ronda's gas tank really is. Right. She's, she's never been past the second. She's only been a minute into the second round. Right. And Holly, we know she's done 12 rounds. She's oh, yeah. And she's done five rounds, too, in MMA. In MMA, so yeah. So she could do it. She has, she's, a, she's a workhorse. That, uh, she works harder than any guy, pretty much. Than any other fighter I've ever seen, right? We have a bunch of high world-class athletes at, at Jackson's, and... and right. uh, I, I make fun of her because I'm like, man, you work harder than ninety percent. Wait, wait, stop of right there. Like you're like, Holly Holm is the <laughs> last person in the world you want to make fun of. Like, <laughs> <laughs> she's a sweetheart, you know. She's in the gym, uh, in public. She's she's a sweetheart. She's very respectful. So it's so all like, jokes no, no aside. kidney punches. Like, uh, oh yeah, yeah. When we're sparring, I try to. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I just make fun of her. I just say, yeah, you train harder than ninety percent of the, the yeah. athletes in here, male right. athletes included. Right. And you know, but it's true. It, you know, yeah. I just joke around, but it's right. it's one hundred percent true. She's one of the harder working athletes in the gym. So you think it's a fifty fifty shot that she'll win? Sixty forty, um, seventy thirty. You know 30. what? Um, the chances we're winning early on, it's it's. Uh, I would say sixty forty. The longer the fight goes, the, longer the better. Goal, the higher chances are of winning. It gets higher and higher, and it climbs because no one knows the gas tank that Ronda Rousey has, and we all right. know that Holly has a gas tank. Right. And, right. and she can go. So. Um, Right. I think the the longer Ronda strikes her, the more trouble she's going to get in. Right. Well, how dangerous is it when these guys and, and women come in and they, they really tackle the legs and try to bring you down? I mean, is uh, that... Uh, proper defense, you know. Uh, can you avoid you that? Yeah, you can avoid it as long as you have proper defense. You know, uh, Ronda's very good at throws, and so you got to keep a certain distance away from her. You can't get anywhere within, uh, uh, I would guess, hip to hip. As okay. long as you're within this range and not here, mm -hmm. she'll be fine. Okay. So she has to frame out keep her away from her so she can't throw, use her judo throws and stuff like that. Right. Because they are two different two different styles of fighting. In many ways, Holly came up through the boxing world. Yes. She was a kickboxer first, but then yeah, she started... Yeah, Holly started when she was uh, 16. Right. And she's been boxing ever since, you know? And, yeah. And she's a great boxer. Right, a wonderful you know? boxer. And, and World and champion. People, yeah, people Hall understand fame Holly started off kickboxing before boxing. Right. right. And so she has great kickboxing. Well, I remember in some of her early fights when I was I was watching them mm -hmm. and and covering them, she would want to step back and throw a kick. You could yeah. see her like just want to like twist that leg around and twist the hip and yeah. kick somebody. Like she had to mentally stop herself from yeah. doing that. And now in MMA, that's fair game again. Yeah, you know right? what? And what's cool about Holly is she's been around MMA her whole fight career. Right. Because of Coach Mike Winklejohn, he's right. been our striking coach for years. Right. So she's not new to the game. She's seen it. She's never participated with us until the last few years. Few years, yeah. But she's seen it. She's educated right. in it. She knows what's going on. Right. And so it's a little bit easier for her to come in where other boxers are just coming in blind. She's been seeing it for years already. Right, right. So give us a little bit of background in your career. Because you, you, I know you were a high school wrestling champion. Yes. And then you went into fighting just immediately after that? No, I went to, uh, I went to junior college. I was a two-time junior college uh, All-American, one-time junior college national champion. As a wrestler? As a wrestler. Cool. Uh, I was transferred to Fresno State. After Fresno State, I came back home, then I started fighting. Okay. And yeah. then what was your fight record? My fight record right now is 19 and 10. 19 and 10. Yeah. And who do you have... Are you fighting? What's your next fight? Have you figured um, that out yet? Right you know? now, we're in negotiations right now. Uh, as of right now, it looks like I might be fighting in Hawaii in February. Ooh, who do you want to fight? I, I don't care who I fight, as long as they really? get back to the UFC or to one of the bigger fight cards. Uh, mm -hmm. Fighting on the lower circuit, it's cool, but it's not the quiet as the pay and right. that I think I deserve. Well, you, you train so hard, you don't want to... It, it, well, it is. Uh, each camp, I, I spend about three, four grand. Yeah. And people don't see that. That's the money I... Right. Coaches don't work for free, right? They don't. No one works for free. So I, I spend about three, four grand per camp, and then where I'm fighting right now, I only make winning maybe like fourteen grand, mm -hmm. and then I still got to pay my taxes. I got to pay all this stuff. Then I still right. have my home mortgages. I got and that's cars, only if you win. I have my dogs. Right. You know, so it's like right. 
uh, that, that 14 grand turned into two, three grand to myself only after the end of the day. And right. I still got to pay bills, you know? Right, right. After bills are even done paying, I still have bills to, right. to last for the next fight. Right. Right. And, you know, and so you have to keep up a pretty good pace. You're you're really a working fighter who's got to be out there. Like those guys, like Mike Tyson only has to fight once every five years. Yeah, yeah, I have to. I don't get paid at the scale that some of these other guys are getting paid. I, I used to, but I got to get back to the big show, so I can't get paid like that. Right. What do you do for that? Do you just have to win a bunch? Do you have to be I, good on I, TV? I've done that. To... I, I'm, I'm exciting on TV. Yeah, I'm, right. Uh, I knock people out. Um, uh, I don't, I'm never in a boring fight, so I don't know right. what I got to do nowadays. I guess... Uh, I'm getting a little older, so ah. Ah. Uh, we all get there. It's better yeah. than the alternative, though, right? Mm -hmm. But it's it's a tough way. Way to make better a than living. alternative. <laughs> it's a tough way to make a living, though. Do you, it do, is. You, do you help train other fighters too? I do. I help uh, the younger fighters here and there. I yeah. beat them up just to. Then I, tell, <laughs> then I tell them, hey man, this is what you guys should have done. Right. So it's a little bit of tough love. Right. Uh, well, as somebody who's been in in the octagon and somebody who's who's been there and done that, how dangerous is Ronda and how dangerous is Holly? You know what, Ronda's very dangerous. Uh, she plays a mind game and uh, that's where she, that's where she wins a lot of her fights but she's not gonna do it mm -hmm. with Holly Holly's she's a educated veteran fighter and that's right those the mind games, games don't throw work. her off they don't throw her off at all yeah. uh, and that's a big part of Ronda's game and, and she thinks she's invincible mm -hmm. and I think what it is is Holly knows she's not invincible right and, and uh, Holly's won Holly's lost yeah so she knows she's been hit hard a couple of times yeah and, exactly and um, I, I, I just think it's going to be a great fight. It's, Absolutely. Um, they're both dangerous in their own aspects. You know, right. uh, Ronda's an Olympian in judo. Right. She's great at judo. And right. she's been doing jiu-jitsu since a young girl. Right. And then Holly's just been boxing forever. And she's, she's six, very dangerous, too. Six times, seven times <clears throat> world champion? Yeah, in boxing. In boxing. No, no female could beat her in boxing. No. Yeah. No, she fought everybody, and she, the reason she went to MMA is because she, she beat everybody She boxing. beat everybody. <laughs> yeah, she beat everybody like three, four times. Like right. no one else... You They're just like, it's like, no, yeah, no one had a chance against her. Yeah. So, uh, why is this fight such a big deal? Is it because Ronda's a thing? Is it because Holly's a thing? Is it just because it's going to be a good fight? I mean, I, I think it's just the making for a perfect storm. I think it, it's yeah. both ways. You know, you got the best in the judo best in, and yeah. MMA, you have the best in boxing, right? And do you have the do you have the chance of the first time? MMA boxing world champion. Which is amazing. So if you were sitting here and Holly was sitting in this chair uh -huh. and you had to give her one bit of advice before the fight, what would you tell her? I would tell her just have fun, uh, keep the range. Be, keep her outside. Keep her outside. She does get close, frame, elbow down. Mm -hmm. Don't let her get her hips in. Uh, circle away from the cage and keep it striking. Awesome. Put one, two, maybe three punches in a row until later rounds, then start really putting combinations together. Install her until Yeah, just, you know, keep that range, keep that range, get her frustrated. Once that range is established, then start opening up. Awesome. Yeah. We'll be back in a couple of seconds. We'll talk more about the fight and more about this art and everything. How great is this stuff? Uh, I love it. This is cool. I've been looking at it. I'm kind of glancing at it at the corner of my eye. Right? Well, maybe with some of that two grand, you can buy some of this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back in a couple of seconds on the Morning Brew with Friends.